everybody, this is Zaris, and welcome to another episode of the Korean Update. After a long and arduous season, we've finally reached the GSL Code S semifinals. In the quarterfinals played this past week, Quantix Naniwa went up against IM MVP in one of the most highly anticipated matches of the season. Unfortunately, the Cinderella story of Naniwa ended in a bitter defeat as he lost 1-3 to the two-time former champion. The second quarterfinal match featured Startails Parting going up against FXO Oz. Oz is generally known for taking a lot of economic risks in the early game to try to get an advantage later on. However, Parting capitalized on that by playing very aggressively himself, ending the series quickly in a 3-0 victory that only lasted about 35 minutes total. Next up was fan favorite Liquid Hero going up against OGS Supernova. Hero struggled for so long in the GSL and has finally managed to have his breakout performance, dominating Supernova 3-0 to advance to the semifinals. Our final quarter match pitted Liquid's Teja against Startail Squirtle. Now Squirtle, who has been having an amazing run ever since the most recent IPL, continues that dominant performance by 3-0-ing Teja to advance to the semifinals. This is actually a really surprising result. We saw three 3-0 victories in the quarterfinals and only a 3-1 for IM MVP. The other interesting note is that we've got three Protosses in the top four of the GSL, something we've never seen before. Now, let's take a quick look at some GSL Code A results. I want to specifically focus on three players who are also in the NASL. Complexity's Gonzi, TSL's Pult, and Slayer's Puzzle all won their round of 48 matches and will be advancing to round two of GSL Code A. All right, guys, that about wraps up this week's episode of the Korean Update. Make sure to tweet at Zerislide if you think there's anything I missed or if there are any subjects you want me to address in next week's show. Once again, thank you guys for watching and stick around for more Frotorp action.